It's Mr. Byers again with Histology Review Part 2. I'll do a quick review of the slides from Part 1. I'll turn to the image, wait a few seconds to see if you can determine what the image is or what the tissue type is, and then I'll say the answer before moving on to cartilage, um, muscle tissue, and then finishing with the nervous tissue and a few miscellaneous types. Simple squamous epithelium. Another image of simple squamous epithelium. Lung. Simple cuboidal epithelium. Thyroid gland. Liver. Pancreas. Here we're showing the liver versus pancreas. Simple columnar epithelium. Small intestine. Colon or large intestine. Stomach. Appendix, pseudostratified, ciliated, columnar epithelium, or you could say pseudostratified, ciliated, columnar epithelium. Transitional epithelium, ureter, urinary bladder, Stratified squamous epithelium. Skin, or some say skin on the foot, which is the skin. Scalp. Esophagus. Tongue. Loose areolar connective tissue, white fibrous connective tissue, adipose tissue. And now we're on the next section, the next review. We start with cartilage. Here you can see the chondrocytes. Here's a chondrocyte, a cartilage cell, dumping out that matrix, that hyaline matrix. This is called hyaline or hyaline cartilage. It's very deep purple. Um, I wouldn't memorize just color, but you know, not much has that sort of grainy matrix out here with these very circular cartilage cells, chondrocytes. So this is hyaline cartilage. Here you have elastic cartilage, a different type of cartilage cell. You can see the chondrocyte here. Um, some folks think it looks like corn. I don't know about that, but elastic cartilage. This is an image of developing cartilage. Yes, you can see your hyaline cartilage over here on this side. Um, as you move in and you begin to learn, um, I believe it's in the skeletal chapters, you'll talk about cartilage and, and how it moves toward ossification. You can see, or that maturity, um, the hyaline cartilage, you can see it developing. You, you see the zone of proliferation, zone of hypertrophy, and then where it's sort of ossifying, moving from that cartilage to bone model. But you see the three, the different types here, cartilage, hyaline cartilage, developing. And so the whole thing we call this developing cartilage. Speaking of ossify, this is a bone that has been cut as a cross section. So it's compact bone, compact bone, cross section. You can say CS or XS or cross section, but compact bone cross section. You'll learn these later, but I can see the central canal is sort of in these concentric rings, like an onion growing out. You see the little, you know, you, lacuni, canalicula. You'll, you'll see where these, these little dark spaces are where you'll find bone cells. Um, you'll learn that later, but each one of these is this circular unit. 
and so it kind of looks like rings of a tree there's one there's one there's one each one of these growing outward um, but it's very important you know this is compact bone cross section you're looking at it through that transverse horizontal plane as opposed to compact bone here in that vertical plane it's been cut long ways so you've taken those osteons and we were looking at them in that long sagittal type cut so we call this a compact bone longitudinal section or ls compact bone longitudinal section still in connective tissue here's your blood um, made of all those formed elements red blood cells white blood cells proteins etc eventually you'll learn how to identify these white blood cells but nothing else looks like this blood should be a giveaway look at these red circles everywhere it's red blood cells this you just have to answer blood not much please don't miss this one this one's very it's a giveaway blood this one's going to look like white fibrous but you can see these individual long fibers sort of these cigar shaped nuclei here 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 this is your muscle cell it's a particular type of muscle smooth muscle smooth muscle we don't have control of so they call it involuntary involuntary non-striated involuntary but smooth muscle is the answer now what we do have control of is skeletal muscle so this has these striations these lines you see these striations through here and we'll learn all about those um, later in in physiology but these long lines here this is skeletal muscle so striated voluntary you have control it just looks like meat to me so skeletal muscle last muscle type is the special type cardiac muscle striated involuntary now a lot of these are blue that's true but what you need to memorize is these lines these deep lines they're called intercalated discs and what they are they're, they they give strength to those cells but they act as kind of gap junctions they act as a way for these cells to talk to each other to send conductivity to one another to act as that syncytium and so cardiac muscle cardiac muscle with these intercalated discs these lines uh, here 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 cardiac muscle now this side slide is going to have three things if i am identifying the circle here that has this deep thick layer of smooth muscle that's your artery or an and artery now the floppy one down here that doesn't really have as much of that smooth muscle layer that's a vein so a thick layer that can handle all that pressure artery floppy vein now on the same slide here near this sort of what they call a vascular bundle you have a nerve or several nerves really one there so on this slide we could identify nerve artery or vein it depends on where the the pointer of the microscope is pointing can you tell what this is it's a lymph node so it kind of people describe it as an elephant's foot and i don't know about that but it's a lymph node lymph gland and so it has this these lobes here that have been cut it's lymph tissue this one motor neurons i'm sorry motor nerve endings with plates so here's the nerve here's the plate here's the nerve here's the plate here's the nerve here's the plate and so we're going to have uh, communication between the nerve and this muscle that's behind it going to release some sort of neurotransmitter probably to kind of get this going but motor nerve ending plate motor nerve ending plate so motor nerve endings with plates here off of some of your nerves you have the spinal ganglion looks like a hand sticking out ganglion spinal ganglion this one if you were to zoom out you you definitely see what it was if we zoom all the way out when you look at your slide you'll kind of see the we're looking at the back here of an eye so what we're seeing here these tissue layers this is the retina that's all you have to answer retina here where we're at is we're looking at the inside of your ear 
So if we could zoom into the cochlea, we'd see these, if we could zoom in sort of this area in particular down here where these hair cells are, organ of corti. It's a very particular, unique, specialized structure in the ear that allows you to hear organ of corti. Here, you'll get this image when you get to the nervous system, depending on what class you're in, whenever you get to it. But I see this big old nerve cell, a bunch of other, you know, types of cells, astrocytes and things back there. But here, this giant nerve cell body, this big old blue nerve cell body. Here, this is going to run the gamut as far as what type of slide you look at. I can see the glomeruli. I, I know what I'm looking at here, and so I kind of have the search image. It's a cross-section of a kidney. But you're going to want to look at several of these slides because they don't all look like this. You know, this was just one picture we took a long time ago, and so every slide box is going to have different sections of that kidney. Now, they all have the same general type, but some kidneys come from mice, some kidneys come from, you know, other uh, specimens, and so it depends on how big it is, what you're going to see. But look for the search image of those glomeruli. If we could zoom in, all of those epithelial cells in there. And so this is kidney. Here, this is just a perfect slide, perfect picture. You know why? Because I took this picture. I'm just kidding. It's like a monkey face, right, or something. Look at us screaming at you, like the little eye over here. No. Um, it is your ovary. So right away, I see right here a follicle with a perfectly developed oocyte right there in it. See another follicle, maybe a developed secondary perhaps, or graphene with another little oocyte there. If we were to look along the edge, we'd see, you know, oocytes. And so you have to look for that follicle with the oocyte. Not all will look exactly like this, but you have to train yourself to look for that circular egg cell inside of that larger open follicle. Ovary is what you answer. And then finally, the front of your lab manual, seminiferous tubules. We look at all of these tubules from the testes that have been cut. Here we see all this developing sperm, each one of these. And so all we're asking you to identify this is as testis. Singular testis, plural testes. You're seeing a bunch of tubes that have been cut with developing sperm inside of that. Testis. So I hope the review helped. Please look at the lab manual. Please go through several times. Look at those slides in class. They aren't gonna be exact images from the lab manual. That would be impossible. We each have different slide boxes, different campuses, et cetera. So look through those. Your job is just to identify. You will be looking at them and saying what it is, looking at them and writing down. Spelling does count. Please let your instructor or one of the main campus professors know if you need assistance.